What we gonna do right here is go back. Way back. What's going on, y'all? It's Eric Devontae, the baddest bitch on every motherfucking block that I walk. <laughs> it's not the point here. So we are going to discuss the Way Back Wednesday quiz. And I'm trying a new format where I bring it to YouTube because I want more I want more eyes on it and I want more opinions. So remember that the opinions of this are my own and you guys are entitled to yours. And I'm always down for healthy discussion. If y'all disagree, y'all want to get crazy, do it in the comment section and I'll engage with y'all. But yeah, let's, let's enjoy this for the culture. I'm so with the shits, okay? And tell a friend, let's make it a whole discussion. So the first question that I ask you guys is which is the better crime mob verse between Diamond's uh, verse on Rock Your Hips and Princess's verse on Nuck If You Buck? And y'all gave Princess 111 votes and Diamond got, what, 91? You know... I'm gonna be straightforward. I don't like Nuck If You Buck. I don't know if it's because I'm a Sigma and like go into functions. You hear a lot of Nuck If You Buck. Like Greeks love to do that shit and then get real rough, but then these bitches can't fight. It's a real contradictory track. That's neither here nor there. I personally don't like Nuck If You Buck. It could be trauma. It could be many things, but I'm personally just not a rough bitch. Like I just don't, mm, I don't go to functions to fight. Like that's very much not my stilo. Um, Princess did what needed to be done, but it's diamond rock your hips for me, okay? Now I got 32 flavors of that booty delicious bubble gum, raspberry. Like diamond very much ate that up. So yeah, diamond gets the vote, period. Hey, it's Franklin. Okay, right, so the next question that I asked y'all is which cartoon has the better theme song, Little Bill or Franklin? And let me be real honest, at first I was nervous about putting Little Bill on the bill because y'all try and get real political. Bitches try and get real righteous. Oh, isn't that Bill Cosby's cartoon? Oh, absolutely not, girl. Fuck that. Fuck, no. Um, fuck. He's giving girls pills. We can't support little Bill. Like, girl, girl, go to hell. All right, you in the facade, go to hell. So I was nervous about putting little Bill up. Um, and then against Franklin, which are two of my favorite Nick Jr. shows. Um, which theme song do I think is better? Low-key Franklin, because little Bill only has like the, the little do, 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 do. Little Bill, like that's like nothing is going on there, so it's Franklin for me. But I'm glad to see that it was pretty even. So the next question that I asked y'all is which is the better reality show between Flavor of Love Charm School and I Love Money? And to be honest, I don't even think half of y'all bitches remember I Love Money because I Love Money got like what 22 votes and Charm School straight chewed it up and spit her out like. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have did I Love Money, but I couldn't have done I Love New York because obviously I Love New York would have won. It was a better, like, format. Flavor of Love is, like, the godfather of all this shit, so that couldn't have happened. I didn't know what to put Charm School against, but damn, 22? Wow. Remember I Love Money was on, but then they cut, like, season three because one of the guys killed his wife before he got on the show? Like, it was real white people shit. Wild. Um, but yeah, hmm. I guess I understand. In the future, no more. I love money. Got it. So next up, which is the better rap bop between What Do You Like by Zabrat and Whatever, What Up, Get It Poppin' by Remy Ma. And Remy Ma won with 128, if memory serves me correctly, and Zabrat lost with like a rough 80 something, which isn't horrible. I think that's like a 40 person gap. Um, hmm. I, I, I don't, I'm trying to understand the logic here. Like, whatever is such a bop, and I think I kind of agree with you guys, but that is like my favorite DeBrat song, what, what you like. So, uh, I feel like because a lot of my following is from New York, like, y'all know what it is. It's real tone wild, take it to the streets, block party, circle, y'all know what it is, real ghetto. Um, and DeBrat's doesn't really have like a nostalgic feeling associated with it, at least not on that level. So, Maybe that's why Remy Ma won, but I'm not mad at it. Like, that was a bop. Swiss Beats did what needed to be done. Both songs are my shit. So, I mean, hey, it is what it is. But making sure that my position is made clear, yeah. It's, it's Remy Ma for me. Whatever is, 
is it is that girl period and you know she's stomping bitches out with a timbaland boot and shooting bitches over a stack yikes hate to see it so next up to battle is better nickelodeon show um just jordan or romeo and I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I don't remember that episode from either one. I remember both shows, like don't get me wrong. I remember watching Just Jordan and I remember watching Romeo, but honestly, now looking back, place fillers. Place fillers on the schedule because I can't tell you one Just Jordan episode. I don't even feel like y'all could tell me one Just Jordan episode. And I know damn well y'all can't tell me one Romeo episode. Like, girl, no, go to hell. Half of y'all is lying. Um, I, I don't even remember which one won because I was just like, Y'all remember this? <laughs> that was my my thought the whole time I was watching the poll go up and down. Um, if I had, to, I don't even think I could pick a winner. I don't remember either episode. Like I don't remember anything from either show. So yeah, I just I'm not even invested. I hope y'all have fun with that one. Okay, so let's let's talk real brief. Um, better instrumental, Beanie Mac Bitch by Beanie Siegel or Flipside by Who the fuck is Flipside? Hold on. <laughs> Alright, y'all, my bad. I had to get my memory together. I'm like, who the hell? Okay, yes. Um, so or Flipside by Freeway. And you know, at first I really wanted to say Mac Bitch because the beat initially just hits me harder. But I realized that you guys picked Flipside because of You Got Served, NBA 2005, Def Jam Vendetta, or Fight for New York. Like, Flipside has been a part of our childhood forever, so I understand that the nostalgia is real heavy with that. But if we remove those two, like, if we remove all that extra stuff, I really feel like Mac Bitch is the better instrumental. Like, I just, mm, it's just something about it is real gutter to me. Like, um... Freeway is like that Philly sound and Mac Bitch gives me real Brooklyn and that's where it's at for me. Like I get it, I get the legacy and the reputation, but it's Mac Bitch over. So we have better movie, Napoleon Dynamite or The Master of Disguise. And Napoleon Dynamite was funny and all, but I don't remember it being funny enough for y'all to just like, what the fuck was with y'all in The Master of Disguise? Like, I don't, it was turtle, turtle. I don't remember a lot of The Master of Disguise, actually. But I don't remember a lot of Napoleon Dynamite, so I really don't see why it was so disproportionate, but like, all right. It's kind of like just Jordan and Romeo, where it's like, I really don't have a dog in this fight. Um, I actually am going to say The Master of Disguise was funnier, only because off the top of my head, I can remember it better. But neither one of those movies is hitting right now. Neither one is hitting. So like, but it wasn't for all that. Y'all really just jumped her. Like y'all really was those bitches outside. Like, oh, we not gonna jump you. Come outside. You're doing great, sweetie. And y'all jump her. Like it's just ugly. Mm -mm. So next up, we have Better Pop Bop between Rich Girl by Gwen Stefani and London Bridge by Fergie Ferg. And London Bridge lost. Ah, uh, yikes, guess it fell down. Um, okay, first I would like to just remind everybody that Rich Girl is originally a Caribbean dancehall track, you know, just to show love to the black people. Um, but yeah, it's Rich Girl for me. I had uh, London Bridge as a ringtone as a point because that was a great breakout song, Fergie. I fucked with London Bridge hard. Um, but Rich Girl also had Eve in it, and it was like part two of Let Me Blow Your Mind, so it was it was all really good. Then you had the nostalgia from the original dancehall track, so yeah, and Gwen Stefani just has a special place in my heart, because goddamn Gwen Stefani is good, like goddamn she's good. Um, yeah, Rich Girl definitely took this one for me too, but London Bridge is a bop, I won't, I won't take from it, I won't. Oh baby, let's talk for a second. Bigger dance moment. 
Beyonce Single Ladies or Ciara Ride. And you guys have been in an uproar, no little Wayne. Like, and I completely understand because a good portion of my brain wanted to be like, don't give this to Beyonce just because she's Beyonce. Like, really, like, weigh the options because Ciara literally carried Ride by herself. Like, she danced that whole video and bitches was really trying to learn that shit. Like, only the real dancers, though. Like, the rookie bitches was not fucking with Ride. They was just trying to learn how to wind their waist. But, like, Ciara ate that up. But then I think about the impact of single ladies and bitch, this alone, uh, SNL skit, uh, uh, it was ever commercials. It was just everywhere. It was so mainstream, like it's Beyonce. So like, damn, I, single ladies got it. Like I completely understand why single ladies won that. And it's like, I wanna give props to Sierra and I will give props, but Beyonce deserves this. Now, if I had said better choreography, okay, maybe Sierra could have took the win. But like beyond, like literally, like nah, man, because the single ladies was everywhere. Like we was trying to learn that shit, and like the end of middle school into high school, like nah, yeah, give Beyonce her motherfucking flowers, Sierra girl, you ate that up. And I really want to know who waxed you, cause your area when when um her cooch was in Ludacris's face, flawless. So I don't know who waxed you, but bitch, plug them. But yeah, I think Beyonce deserves this. I absolutely think Beyonce deserves this. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Ew, to the no, to the no, no, no. Okay, so funnier Real Housewives of Atlanta clip, caption, whatever phrase. Um, who said that? Or hell to the no, to the no, no, no. And Poor Sheree, like she can't catch a fucking win for nothing in this life, all right? It's given September, summer, joggers, um, Chateau Sheree, Chateau she can't pay. Like y'all just will not let Sheree see a good day in the sun. Like I, I hate to see it. I don't I don't know what this black woman has done to y'all, but y'all just keep breaking her down and yikes, it's giving osteoporosis. Um, but I do understand that when who said that is like, it's applicable in every real world situation. Like people just be saying bullshit all the time. Who said that? Like I completely understand it. And there's more memes like with it. So I understand that the culture has adapted to that, but it's hail to the no, to the no, no, no for me. I didn't mean to smoke your relatives. Please! No! I didn't do it by my So last but not least, funnier Marlon Wayne's role. Don't be a menace to South Central. Um, or Scary Movie 2. And the scenes that I picked were the supermarket scene when Marlon was shooting and the Asian woman kept price tagging and everything. You sure my you sure my shirt? $10, $19, you pay me. <laughs> Or when he got rolled up like a blunt by the weed um, and smoked. Yeah, it's don't be a menace. Like, it, it, it was the Asian lady actually that really pushed it over for me. Because I was like, girl, why are you price tagging all this shit? What is this, Goodwill? Um, nah, that shit is funny as fuck. And if you watch Don't Be a Menace to South Central, like, smack, oh, God bless. Like, if you have not seen that movie, please, I implore, I implore you to watch that movie. It's so fucking funny. Oh, my God. But Scary Movie 2 was my shit. Both of those are my shit, actually. But it's Don't Be a Menace to South Central, absolutely. So I hope y'all like this. This is the first time I'm doing it. So if y'all have any suggestions for me... <clears throat> Whoa, let me clear my throat, DJ Cool Voice. Um, if y'all have any suggestions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please do like, share, subscribe, tell a friend because this is something that we could do, like it could be generational. Like it could be a whole, get your grandma involved and she knows what the hell I'm talking about. But yeah, let's, let's, let's see how this goes.